emotional day for the loved ones who have been fighting this battle. The families of nine victims reach a settlement with Remington who made the gun used in the Sandy Hook school shooting. That shooting in 2012 took the lives of 20 first graders and six educators. Here are three key takeaways. This is a $73 million settlement. The family sued Remington in 2015, saying the company should not have sold a dangerous weapon to the public. This is the first time a gun manufacturer is being held liable in a mass shooting. And tonight at 6, we have team coverage for you on today's big story, breaking down the settlement, plus reaction from the families. We'll start with Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane. Well, Mark and Aaron, the attorney for the family says in 2005, Remington sold 100,000 of its Bushmaster AR-15 rifles. Seven years later, in 2012, the year Sandy Hook took place, they sold 2 million. He says it was fueled by an aggressive marketing campaign targeted to young men, just like the shooter. Images of a lone gunman encouraging gun owners to get their man card, along with marketing the AR-15 as an adaptive combat weapon using phrases like clear a room, cover the rooftop, and rescue hostages. Forces of opposition bow down. You have been single-handedly outnumbered. Attorney Josh Koskoff says a big part of Remington's aggressive marketing of the AR-15, the gun used to kill 20 first graders and six educators inside Sandy Hook, included a new target audience, partnering with a popular first-person shooter video game. This is a way to reach underage people, as well as lawfully aged people, with marketing and it's so effective. While federal law protects many gun manufacturers from wrongful death lawsuits like this one, the families and their attorneys took a different approach, trying to hold Remington responsible by focusing on the company's marketing strategy. Prioritizing profit above safety and using reckless marketing techniques to appeal to at-risk and violence-prone young men. Marketing that is targeted those to, that want to appear more intimidating, more powerful, and more masculine through the use of their AR-15. While Remington denied any wrongdoing, the families and their attorneys say the $73 million settlement is proof. This case was never about damages in the sense of compensation. It, it was about damages in the sense of forcing change. It was about damages in the sense of um, realizing the goals of these families to do what, remember, to do whatever they can to help prevent the next Sandy Hook. And for the nine families involved in this lawsuit, they say the most important part of the settlement is that they obtained and can now make public thousands of pages of Remington's internal company documents, which they claim proves the gun manufacturer's wrongdoing. Paint a picture of a company that lost its way, choosing more aggressive marketing campaigns for profit with no thought to the impact on their intended target user. And we can't wait to share those documents. Now asked about the details in those documents, attorney Josh Koskoff would only say, stay tuned. Now, Eyewitness News did reach out to Remington for a statement. We did not hear back. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.